Hello guys, today I'll be playing Bloons Pop. It is a mobile game, more specifically a puzzle game and a strategy game, similar to Best Fiends and Candy Crush, but with uh, Ninja Kiwi's own twist to the game. Suits the Bloons theme from uh, Bloons Tower Defense series and the Bloons Battle series. Basically, the story behind it is the balloons have taken over each of these following areas here on the list. And my goal is to earn enough money to buy each of the following pieces of scenery through cash and through these uh, red balloon gems. And restore the scenery to the way it was. I am currently at Shipwrecked, the second to last uh, scenery before I have to wait for more updates to the game for new areas. And basically, we're just going to play a couple levels and see how we do. So with that, let's start with level 266. My objective is just to pop 662 balloons. No matter if it's just regular ones, heart-shaped ones, the metal ones. Uh, if you've played previous balloon, um, yeah, balloons uh, games like balloons tower defense six, or balloons t uh, tower defense battles, uh, it'll be uh, easier to understand. So. These first few rows of balloons are uh, fortified white balloons, and the first three monkeys I have here can handle it, but the ice monkey uh, that is currently at the bottom here, it is not effective against white balloons. You, you kind of have some uh, Pokemon logic to it. Uh, Certain monkeys are better at popping certain balloons than other ones. It was a good start, but as you can see, because they were fortified, it took a lot more damage to get some of them going. And as you can see by this circle right here, with the hero monkey here, if I get uh, enough of a point combination going, I can get this special hero monkey and other ones as well. And they will be able to use their special abilities to help me uh, pop these balloons faster and hopefully complete the objective. So just like that I filled up the point streak and here is one of the hero monkeys and their ability is to shoot multiple arrows at once like so. And if you want to skip the animations, oh well. If you want to skip the animations of certain monkeys, like the boomerang one for example, if it's taking too long and you're, you just want to get through the level as soon as uh, possible, there'll be a green fast forward button near the bottom of, uh, of the screen. All you have to do is just click it like this. And just like that. So now that I have two ice monkeys here together, I can merge them to make it more powerful. And conveniently, I have two mortar monkeys here as well, so I can merge those to make it a more powerful mortar monkey. I'm going to save the ice monkey right now because there are still a lot of white balloons out and it won't be effective. So I'm gonna try out this mortar monkey 
the new and improved more of a monkey, I should say. And hopefully I can pop a lot here. Alright, so I unlocked the fire hero monkey. And it'll be good at clearing the top row here, but not the purple balloons at the bottom right here. Because the fire monkey is considered magic and the purple balloons are not effective against magic monkeys. Alright, I did enough damage to get another hero monkey, but I'm going to save that and use this boomerang one instead. That did not go as well as I hoped because of the metal here. Uh, these metal boxes, it no matter what monkey you use, it's not going to be effective. You just gotta pop enough balloons to uh, make it move out of the way for you. Let's aim this cannon down here. Oh. And... Well, since I messed up, the cannons are not effective against the black balloons. Alright. I have five shots left. And I still have 358 balloons. It's, uh... Not in the best of situations right now. Alright. So, with regards to the tank hero monkey... I believe that if you angle the shot correctly, like so... You uh, get the most out of this hero. Because if you just aim it straight down, the tank's just going to go straight down shooting. But if you can keep it in the air longer, through an angle like this, uh, it should be a more efficient uh, turn here. It was pretty good. It got a lot of these heart-shaped balloons. They're called uh, regen balloons because they regenerate if the attacks are too weak against it, like this dart monkey. You need something stronger, like this hero monkey, for example. So the reason you heard that noise, because that hero was considered a magic monkey, and as I said before, it's not effective. Alright. These three monkeys are not really the best at uh, clearing out all these balloons here in a situation like this it's a good thing you have your power-ups so I'm going to use this mortar and hopefully it takes out a lot of the balloons oh boy alright that wasn't as good as I hoped for um, we'll use this super monkey. It can clear out a lot of the balloons except the metal ones. Alright. 
I'm feeling more comfortable now. It's not the best hero to use in this situation, so... Let's see how an ice monkey handles this. I believe it can pop the purple balloons. Yes, it can. Okay. Gotta try and get the right angles to this. Alright. So this hero monkey should be able to take care of these 13 frozen balloons. All right, there you go. You can watch an ad if you want to uh, get more rewards or even the gold pass here, but the most I, I sometimes watch the ads. But in this case, I won't. We'll leave it at that for today. I'm just gonna get this power up real quick. After you complete each stage, uh, you'll be able to get free power-ups after a, a day or so. And I, w I don't consider this a pay-to-win game. It's just a matter of strategy and if you're patient enough, if you want to be patient enough and wait for your free power-ups, then I. that's why I don't consider it a pay-to-win game. It's a nice strategy game to clearly, to, well, not clear your head, but to get your brain thinking. And with that, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough. I tried to explain it the best I could. And stay safe. Have a good one, guys.